presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to get started using Planning Center with ProPresenter. Hi and welcome, Eternity Changer, to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and before we get started, make sure to subscribe and click on the little bell icon so that you can be among the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. Planning Center Online is one of those tools, like ProPresenter, that a lot of churches use. Maybe you didn't know that you can use them together, but guess what? You can. By connecting PCO with Pro 6, you can create pre-populated service orders and save yourself a ton of time. It's not even that hard to do. And if you've got both Planning Center and ProPresenter, you probably already have everything you need. So let me show you just how easy this is to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log into Planning Center. So bring up Preferences, that's Command Comma on a Mac, or you can just go into ProPresenter 6, then Preferences, that'll take you there. I'm blanking on what the PC login is. Now we want to click on Services and click Login. And that should bring this up. So let me put in my email address and then my password. And let's see if that logs me in. There we go. So, let's, um, match songs in library, automatically check for plan updates, show historical service plans, make arrangements from sequences, yeah, basically, you're probably going to want to do all of those things. So, let's shut that. Now let's go to new PCO playlist. Let's look for the one that is appropriate. So... Older stuff, character sketches, life hacks, best day ever. Okay, the one that we just did was we had a uh, baptism service. So I'll let that populate. And once I do that, you'll notice that I have a countdown. We begin the service intro video. I haven't actually downloaded all this media. Um, just connecting that. Then we have these songs. These are all songs that I don't have in my library just yet, but you can see how this could uh, save you a lot of time by doing all these fun things. We've started doing for our video announcements a vlog, so that's a cool little thing. And then we have all the things here. So if you had added those into your library, here, let me click this off, and uh, they were over here, then you could just drag and drop them in to match them up. In general, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want the title to be identical in Planning Center to what it is in the library for ProPresenter. But that's just a little bit of how you get started with Planning Center Online in ProPresenter. Here are a couple of things worth noting. I don't have an administrator's account to Planning Center. So if someone else in your church does the admin stuff, don't let that stop you from connecting it to ProPresenter. Second, 
you saw what happened when I didn't have the media and songs in both places, so make sure that you do. Other than that, enjoy using this feature to save you some time. If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Oh, and I've just created a new resource for you. I took all the ProPresenter 6 keyboard shortcuts and put them in alphabetical order by what they do. Hundreds of churches have already downloaded it, and you can too. Just go to tdm.fyi slash keyboard alpha yt. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.